Now we're going to use the first string as a drone. So it's the same chord forms, E, F sharp minor, but the first string will be open. G sharp minor with the first string open. So now we're looking at these two forms for the minor. And for the major, of course, remember we're compensating for the nut. And let's use the same pattern we just used. It sounds like this. So you can see all these different patterns, and of course you can start mixing and matching them too. Um, these different chord forms, and you get some interesting sounds. That's neat because we've got the E and the D sharp right near each other. If you just played that, somebody would think you made a mistake. But listen to it. It's a nice sound. Same thing with this one. There's your D sharp again. It's funny, when you hear these kinds of sounds, a lot of times you think people are playing all these fancy things and they've got these wacky different chord forms. And it's all the chords you know. That's your B chord, but we're not playing the bar. We get a better sound. Um, more sounds, more color, more tone color. Let's try it a little bit faster and see what it sounds like. Right in the beginning when I played that, it sounded like it could be an excerpt from a song you may have heard before. And that's what we're talking about.